Uh, what's up, everyone? Nakarama here, and uh, that was just what happened when I started the game back up. What is this? Is this like a, a story? Especially, th this is now really weird because I just finished my episode of Bulletstorm and like. Oh, so. That's so pretty. Oh, is that like a dream? Steve? Are you still there? Yeah. Ah, I'm awake. I had a dream just now. So that was a dream. Oh my god, that, that was nice. I saw. You did? Wow. I... I really thought I was back home. Oh, the sun back in my home world isn't a light bulb. It's a big ball of fire in the sky. I don't think I would be able to hold it like uh, I do with the sun from your world. This isn't my world. Huh? This isn't the world I live in. Really? Ah, I guess not. If you're the god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your home world called? Earth. Earth? Like the stuff on the ground? Wait, do you live underground? No. Ah, neither do we. But but shrews and fields, m m uh, mice and stuff do. Does your world have a sun? Yes, it's also a ball of fire. Really? Wow! Can you hold it? That was a silly question, wasn't it? Oh my god, this is so adorable and so nice! The sun in my w home world is very bright. Warm too. You saw, right? But it goes away sometimes, at night. Everything goes dark, kinda like how this world is now. But it's okay, because the sun always comes back the next day. That's uh, that's good, don't you think? My world is like that too. Yeah. Mm hmm. During the night, people usually go to sleep. But some people stay up and use computers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, referring to a lot of the... Uh, uh, of the children from today, like... The the parents are like, you are going to bed now. It's bad time, and they are just like, yes, mom, yes, dad, and they are just then basically still sitting in front of the computer. <laughs> I wasn't actually any better back then. I literally, I I don't exclude myself from that. I was not better back then. I don't have to explain what they are, do I? There's a bunch of them in this world, and. Anyway, we should probably get going. Oh, that was so nice! I love that! I really, I really do. Oh yeah, by the way, in the last episode I was stuck and so I thought I might try something, cause can I combine those? I don't think we can do anything else here, Steve. It feels like we're on the right track though. Okay. So I have to find something or use something. Wait, broken battery. That's a broken one. I can't combine those. Okay, so I need to find something to repair it. Ah, no, 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 don't, don't go there, don't go there. Oh, no, turn around, Nico, turn around. Not the place you want to be. I don't want to kill you. You adorable little... I would say you're a cat person, even when you deny it. But you're adorable. Okay, so can I maybe... 
fix that guy? Uh, hello? This robot doesn't have power. It might help us get across the ocean if we fix it. Maybe if I give him a broken battery? I don't... F I don't think this battery is supposed to be for the, the robot. Alright. The light bulb, maybe. Uh, hello? This robot doesn't have power. It might help us across... Okay. Hmm. The bottle is not going to help me here. That is one thing I'm going to be sure about. Uh, wait. I can see something over here. Is there like a path? Nope. Well, one might can dream. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I haven't explored really everything, so... Uh, were you always here? Oh, right, that was the one where I got the metal bar from. A robot. It's beyond repair. Okay. What about this? Mm, okay. But I, I might want to find something. Because I'm pretty sure here is going to be something at least. And it seems like there would be something going in from that side. Is there like a back entrance? Nope. Okay, maybe we have to do something in here. Because in here are like these things. A robot sitting on the conveyor belt. Doesn't seem to have power. A robot. It seems to be okay, just doesn't have power. A robot sitting on the conveyor belt. Doesn't seem to have power. Wait, maybe can I can... Uh, uh, a robot sitting on the conveyor belt, blah blah blah. Okay, nope. Can I maybe take one of those apart? Nope. But here's broken robots. What's left of a robot's arm? Piece of a robot. It's badly damaged. Just a head. Uh. What's left of a robot's arm? A robot, but it's beyond repair. Hmm. I hope we don't have to use this again, Steve. Wait, maybe that's a clue. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I know I can. No. Okay, so she is not going to use it again. Wait, actually, she or he? Because I'm not sure if Nico is, in that case, is like, uh, like the, um, the, the, the Western side's name, like Nico for a male. Or if it is actually like Nico meant for a female. Like, for example, in the Japanese uh, language, uh, in the Japanese area, like the eastern side, there is actually some names that sound for us uh, li like a, a male version of the name, but it's actually like a unisexual one. It's a faded poster. Reminder to all workers, the rarest form of blue phosphor is found during the phosphor shrimp's uh, spawn period. If you observe a pond with a bubbled over surface, please contact management immediately. We will dispatch a harvest team ASAP. Okay, that's a hint. I should have actually read those things uh, in the last episode already. Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and uh, other provi uh, provisions are included upon hiring. First come, first, uh, uh, first come, first serve. Okay, so maybe I am supposed to find a bubbling pond? Because I have a feeling that is what I have to do. Because, I mean, here is like these glistening ponds. Like here. Maybe I have for to use. Oh, whoops. Okay, can't use it. 
Nope. Oh, whoops. Oh, I removed it. There we go. Oh, wait. The entrance to the mines. Can I maybe open that one? Or did I overlook anything like in the one building where I found the other person? Because I'm not sure if that person is a person or a robot. I'm actually not too sure about that. But I guess where it's better to find out than basically just wandering around like aimlessly. Well, okay. I'm pretty much actually doing that anyway. Oh, wait. Here's the five-digit one. Oh, six-digit six one. I don't remember seeing any six-digit codes. Do you, Steve? I actually don't, and if I would, I probably would have remembered. Because I'm not always too bad at just remembering, uh, yeah, codes, normally. But, well, I have been wrong in the past several times already, so I can't really tell. A robot, blah, blah, rest, okay, that's not what I was looking for. Hi. Have you any hints? What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least nobody, nobody history knows. Then who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone wanted to study it before, but... Oh. He never told me if I, it went anywhere. Come on, uh, the top is covered with a wire mesh. Yeah, to basically keep that stuff alive. Or maybe is there something in the bookshelves? A shelf of weird tools and pieces of metal. Okay, nothing here. This is some kind of power cell, apparently. The word silver is written on the side. Okay, so your name is Silver. Why does it say that? That's not important. Okay. We're swimming. No way, I just refilled that two days ago. Guess I'll make a trip to the shore later. What about this one? Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry. There is also nothing. No. So, I don't know. Maybe at the mines there is something going on. Like that I maybe could open it. Wait. Oh. I saw you heading towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter it, it is uh, my duty to accompany me in bleh, accompany you at least once. God damn it! What is wrong with? What is wrong? What is wrong? Yeah, Wong Wing Wong. I'm sounding like f the freaking seals from Hat in Time. <laughs> oh, thanks. Cool. Oh. There's a little gadget on the ground. It looks kind of like a camera. Well, it's left of a camera anyway. Probably even part of a robot, but at one point. Oh. Or not, I don't know. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so now I got a camera. A broken camera with a large screwed in lens. Screwed in? Ba I still have the bottle. Okay. Use the screwdriver to pull the lens out? Okay. Done. Perfect. Now you can combine this with this, right? The lens pops right in. Perfect. Empty battery. So now I could charge that. Finally. Progress. I can see a faint yellow glow in the distance. Don't stand too close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Looks like even the entrance tunnel collapsed off. 
Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can't we walk? I can. But for you, it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. What's ahead anyway? It's a huge network of underground mines, the source of this world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. This is what propelled uh, the world into the industrial age. So now it's lost forever? It's been for a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have been all cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Though there was one that always insisted on going back. Oh? I hope he's okay. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Ready to leave? Mm hmm? Good, okay, so now I can charge that thing. Perfect. And I assume I would need to charge it somehow, and I have a feeling I guess I know how. I just need to basically check my theory if it's also true, because I'm really not sure, and I might actually consider making these parts around 30 minutes long, maybe? Because this game, there's a lot to be discovered and so much to cover on ground. Of course, I'm walking around also a lot, but also that gives me a little bit of time to actually talk a little bit more. And here we go. So here is the battery. So profit bot uh, side, no, no, okay. Uh, can I charge it on that? It's a power cell, I, I think. Oh, the word uh, profit bot is written on the side. Didn't notice that, notice that earlier. Okay, maybe I can now just pop it in. The battery fits the slot perfectly. Looks like we're on the right track. But nothing happened. Well, yeah, cuz... Wait, 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 wait. Can I charge it maybe with the light bulb? We're using the sun directly on the battery? I would have never thought of that. Good thinking, Steve. Ah, looks like it's already fully charged. That was fast. Great! Let's hope the charge battery does something. Whoa! Okay, what did I do? Oh, wait, 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 the, the, the computer! Oh! Hey, bot! I am functional. I can walk. I am functional. Did you power the generator? I guess we did. Right, Steve? Okay, now my, my screen went small again. I see you've made progress in this world, Steve. But that progress stops here. I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. Well, the code no longer exists in this world. Oh, so is it like on my computer? Do you understand what um, what this means, Steve? Sure. Good. Start looking. Wait, is the code maybe like in my documents folder? Let's check. I'm gonna leave the game real quick like that, cause uh, I, I need to check that. Um, save games, maybe? No. Uh, my games? No. Um, nope. 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 Document, one shot, here! Uh. Ah, here it is. 261256. 261256. 261256. So 261256. 261256. 
261-256. Okay, full screen again. And plop. 261-256. Alright, let's do it. 261-256. 261-256. Yeah. 261-256. Yeah, I have to repeat that, otherwise I'm going to forget it. 261-256-261-256-261-256 So, uh, it's right up here. A metal safe. Seems like it's locked with a six-digit code. Okay, um... Two... Five... Uh, two six one... Two five six. Whoa, it worked! Wait, how did you know the code, Steve? I still don't remember seeing one. I had some help. I have my ways. Oh, okay, this is cool! It's literally on my computer! That's cool! And quite clever. Okay, um, I had some help. Really? From who? Don't worry about it. Okay. Wasn't it safe, Nico? Oh, right. Let's see. Ah, I found a gas mask. Yes! Also, there's this weird-looking book. I can't read it, though. Not that I can't read or anything, because I can. I just don't know what language this is. Oh god, please don't tell me it's going to show it in German. Uh, what is that? I don't like this. Okay, so the book. Strange journal found in the Barrens. It's written in an unknown language. Uh, can I just use it? Nope. I'll wear it when I have to. Perfect. So she's now going to put it on as soon as I have to go into the phosphor areas. That's perfect. And quite smart. Oh, whoops. I was a rock. Let's take the first road actually up, uh, up ahead. Because I'm quite curious what is actually going to be up there. Because... I mean, th those phosphor uh, uh, areas, there has to be something, right? I mean, the, the game can't just lead you astray. Oh, I am fu- I am functional. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I love Nico. I don't freaking care if you think a uh, boy or girl. I don't care. I love Nico. <laughs> oh, whoops. Wrong way. There we go. And now we can go here. <laughs> Even gas mask Nico picture. I should be fine with this mask on. Perfect. Because, yeah, you don't want to walk through phosphor uh, areas with no gas mask. What's that? This pond sure looks different. The water looks like jelly. It's formed a bubble over the surface of the pond. Uh... Okay? The pond sure looks different. Uh, crap. Maybe if I use the bottle. You want me to fill the bottle with the stuff, Steve? It's too goopy to fit in the bottle opening. It's like that one time years ago when I tried to put tomato cho choder in a baby bottle. Oh, that's not a good idea. <laughs> and then it got everywhere. On the table, on my clothes, on the baby, on the baby's clothes. <laughs> the grown-ups thought it was hilarious. They took a bunch of pictures. And then they taught me how to uh, use funnels. Ooh, that's a hint. I need a funnel. 
And then they also told me I shouldn't try to babysit until I'm older. Anyway, we should probably look for a funnel or something. Yep, good thinking. Thanks. The sky is dark. That it is. Do you know when the sun will be back? Up. We're working on it. That is really interesting. I really love this game so far. Sure, it has uh, here and there literally a little bit of a creepy moment, but... It, overall, it's really, 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 really good. Up here is a uh, note. Initially, the amount of uh, uh, nauseous fumes uh, emitted by the natural gas vents caught our uh, our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, that first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the barons. We found that there is not one but two such vent zones. With fumes being pumped out at such high concentration, it seems a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologists uh, concluded that the phosphor shrimp is the cr crater pools were actively consuming the gas. The, shr the, the shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting uh, off into the, the glen. If that's the case, then we owe a lot to the uh, to these little guys. I guess you want me to fill the bottle with this gas, Steve. Uh, no. That ought to do it. What? Okay, that worked. Okay. Not gonna question it. But sadly, I'm out of time for this episode, so I'm actually heading back to the bed. And then we'll actually uh, end the episode. Oh, I love the glowing eyes. <laughs> Alright. But anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching. And if you liked it, then leave back a like and a comment and tell me what you thought about it. And if you want to see more, then feel free to leave back a like and a comment and... Yeah. Wait, I just said that. <laughs> oh my god, my brain is right now completely absent. Okay. Once again. If you... Uh, uh, if you uh, liked this episode as much as I did, then feel free to leave back a like and a comment and tell with me what you thought about it. And if you want to see more like this, then feel free to subscribe and click the bell icon and you will be always up to date for everything. And especially because I'm going to upload each and every day. So, at least I'm trying to keep that schedule. So, I hope I see all of you guys in the next video. Till then, see ya.